Hi, welcome back to my Fusion 360 tutorial channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this turbine blade design in Fusion. And as you can see, there is a turbine blade which is I'm going to use several feature in Fusion. Then let's get started. So you just need to create the line at the front plane in the fusion and then it will be 40 for the height so this one is just for the axis of the turbine blade and then you continue with the line and an arc to create an arc you just click left mouse button and then you just drag it it will automatically create the arc and then continue the shape as uh, shown in the picture here and then you put the dimension accordingly and also for the diameter dimension uh, is uh, using the another feature which is you just can click right click and then pick the diameter dimension and then fill appropriate the diameter dimension so at the bottom is a root of the turbine blade and then at the top is the top shaft of the turbine blade okay and after finish you just uh, continue to the revolve feature okay revolve feature and then as you can see we already create the core part of the shaft okay and then i create a plane which is offset from the original plane one millimeter so this plane is for the starting point of the coil which is this coil i used to uh, create the path of the spiral you know maybe yeah, it's called spiral path for this particular uh, plane so this is the section is not necessarily as the dimension of the uh, section here and also the height is quite important so the height will be 38 okay so the height will be at the top of the shaft over there and then i put it in the center okay so because this one is parameter is revolution and uh, height so we just need the height and also need the diameter so the revolution will be created automatically by the system of this feature okay 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 it looks like uh, perfect for me and then this uh, three pad which is I like to create so okay so now I'm going to copy this uh, coil to another to another so I use a copy revolution so I just click revolution and then I put the angle 30 degrees and then I create a copy okay so the this this purpose is for creating the splitter blade so in the blade they have a main blade and also have the splitter blade so this one is actually for the splitter blade okay okay so we have to uh, triangle here which is follow the path and then I will create the first which is the mine blade so I will use include 3d geometry is basically to capture the spiral over there okay and then this line is the purpose is for the my surface which is using the sweep okay I click the sweep and then click the path and then I will give the twist angle 45 degrees okay 
so it was looks like the shape of the blade okay so right now I'm going to create another more so this one is for the splitter angle okay just click over there and then I align my plane which is at the end of the spiral over there so it will be aligned 100 I think the 120 supposed to be 120 okay yeah so aligning the sketch is aligned from that particular triangle and then continue using the include 3d geometry over there then I create the line as well to the center okay okay and then finish sketch and I hide the triangle and continue with the sweep command click and I click the path and also the twist angle would be same 45 degrees okay so I got two uh, nicely sweep surface okay so this one I will going to give a thickness and I will also using the 0 0.5 thickness so this thickness is just using the symmetric but the overall thickness will be one millimeter so I use join operation so this particular blade is joining with the shaft and then after that I will create the second thickness okay here but this time I create a new body okay because I'm going to cut later on okay so we have two solid body which is one is already merged with the shaft and one is standalone or separated from the shaft okay and then I will create I edit my first sketch to create the cutting or we call it shroud in the in the turbine blade terminology it's called a shroud shroud is basically it's actually basically have a little bit uh, a little bit space okay wait let me finish it for the shroud ah, this one is for the shroud okay click over there but actually this shroud uh, supposed to be have the gap between the shroud and then with the blade but in this video I don't do the how uh, the creating the gap because this one is intended to show just to show the how I make this turbine blade the methodology not the actual dimension or and then etc okay so this one is for the short throat and then I will also create a line here okay so this line is basically for cutting the uh, wait let me finish. so this one is basically for cutting the uh, second blade which is have the not not the full not the full head of the blade okay so I will give this 15 and then okay okay I think it's is enough for this sketch so I can select all the area over there okay and then after that I will use the pattern so I will use feature this the first thickness here and then the axis will be the z-axis okay z-axis okay and the number of quantity is six okay so yeah okay so this one is the main blade okay and the second one is the splitter blade okay so also I'm going to pattern the second blade which is using the solid so I just click the solid over there 
and then use also the six number of instances okay so there is a uh, two kind of the blade here and then I cut with the revolve cut of the first cat I turn it on I click the profile which is this one is for the main blade first and then use the Z axis as the axis and then the object to cut I just only choose one main body which is the first one this would be a uh, body one okay the other one okay body one okay and then yeah it looks like uh, good to me and then I click OK so the main bit is already done cut uh, according to the short shape and also this is for the second which is the splitter plate I use the axis here Z axis and then the object of cut is I just remove the body one and then it will cut all the rest remaining body okay so I'm using combine to combine all of the body over there which is six split okay okay so the main shape of the blade is already finished okay and then I will continue with uh, another feature which is also wait let me looks like at the over there oh yeah should I should click another more oh yeah over there okay so this one yeah that one previously is not at the position there okay I'm continue with the creating the fillet uh, oh no not, not, not this splitter angle yeah this one okay so I'm creating all the fillet for this uh, main blade okay just carefully click all the line the curve over there okay okay I'm using two millimeter as a radius fillet okay okay just click okay and then uh, continue with the second fillet which is I like to create the fillet over here uh, let, me, let me think first so maybe I will create at the top first 0 0.5 so it's creating a round feature over there okay just click there and then Okay, over there and then continue over there and then also that guy over there okay then this uh, continue over there okay yeah okay 0 0.5 and then I need to continue the second fillet is maybe 1.5 yeah okay 1.5 is good for me okay so con just continue to the edges over there if you like to add the edges you just hold your control key button on your keyboard and then you just add another more uh, edges for the filler okay. okay looks like it's all it's going to be good okay okay that's it I think this one is already finished and maybe the last I will add a hole okay add the hole at the center with the uh, yeah four millimeter diameter okay okay this one is a uh, it's finished already the turbine blade okay so the next one is maybe I just want to create 
the appearance just click the appearance over here and then click the faces just click the faces for the particular uh, area which is you want to give the differentiate of the appearance over there okay I will add a chamfer over there a little bit okay looks like we come to the end in this video and then as you can see I just continue to creating the appearance which is it will give the create a nicer look okay so this video and also the dimension this is some kind of the disclaimer so in this video I just show the method or the technique how I can how I build this uh, turbine blade so for the particular dimension is not uh, accurately as the same as the blade or the design but more more or less is just uh, close to the shape of the real blade of the turbine blade okay thank you for watching and then don't forget to subscribe bye